History of blight and frustration could change in a matter of months. That's right. I sat down with city leaders tonight to talk about what exactly is going there and how it plays a big role in Rockford's housing future. They feel like they're forgotten. They feel like development can happen anywhere in the city except for here. Um, so it just doesn't give you a positive mindset when you have to look at that every single day. Barbara Coleman has long stood as a reminder of blight off South Main, but there's stronger hope than ever that this turns into something the entire area can rally around. Number one, we're closer to the finish line than we've ever been before. But number two is, is re-envisioning the entire site all at once. That means the project doesn't stop with the iconic building. This entire property has new life coming its way. A lot of residential. We're talking almost a thousand residential units in there, which is fantastic. It's, it's going to be a dense campus, uh, but not, uh, not out of place. By dense, Franzen means parking, green space, and businesses. Many will be smaller like gyms and coffee shops, but they're a revelation to people who've called this area home. We don't have a coffee shop in the fifth ward. People are excited about the possibility of just being able to walk to a place you know that they can utilize. Creating a space lifelong residents can call home and stay near the place they love. We're looking for places that are more urban. We're looking for places that are modern and I want to kind of stick to the side of town that I'm comfortable with that I love and have always known. And now that now that's here and I'm excited that it's coming. And as we mentioned, there are still a few hurdles. There's the zoning approval, final purchase agreement and redevelopment agreement. Those all still need to happen before a groundbreaking can even be scheduled. Yeah, and once that happens, it will be about two years before the first tenants can move in. But the entire project will take between eight to 10 years. New tonight, a new Scots law violation.